Gordy, and I'm a sophomore at Vail High School. Today, we'll be reading the book Sloppy Joe by Dave Keene. Let's get reading. Mom says I'm the first kid in history to take a school picture with gum stuck in his hair. You can barely notice. My room looks a little messy, but I know exactly where everything is. Everything except my bearded dragon, a few of his crickets, and a grilled cheese sandwich I lost last summer. I've always been good at being sloppy. I slurp, spill, slouch, talk with my mouth full, and put my elbows on the table without even trying. Dad says I'm a natural. So do Grammy and Big Grandpa. They spread newspapers all around me when I eat dinner at their house. How did they know a meatball could even roll that far? But I'm not just good at being sloppy. I catch more frogs than any kid on my street. Just ask my mom. I know how to help dad in the yard. And I'm really good at baseball because I practice, practice, practice. But sometimes I wish I wasn't so sloppy. Like when my friend's mom doesn't let me come in the house. Just wait here, I'll send Jimmy out, she says. But I wiped my feet. When being sloppy gets me in really big trouble, I just try out my newest jokes. Hey, what kind of pet does the sun have? A hot dog. Hey, Mom, what did the taco say to the burrito? Where have you been? Sometimes even my best jokes don't always work. So I decide something has to change. That's when I make up my mind to not be sloppy anymore. Starting tomorrow, I'll be neat, Joe. The next day, I give the dog a shower. I clean my room. I find the lost grilled cheese sandwich, and it's so hard I almost break my teeth. I set the table for dinner. I even find one of my lost crickets. This being neat stuff isn't as hard as I thought it would be, but nobody cares about my neatness because... Everyone in my family has the flu. I tell them not to panic. This is a job for Neat Joe. So I bring cold socks for their foreheads. I cover everything with germ spray. I even make soup. I try to cheer them up, but my jokes only make them groan louder. Hey guys, what kind of dog wins every contest? A winner dog. Get it, winner dog? What's wrong with you people? By the time Grammy gets here, I have everything under control. So what do you think of the new Neat Joe, I ask my family. He reminds me of the old sloppy Joe, Dad says. And he's a very special kid, Mom says. The end. Well, do you have a Sloppy Joe in your family? Because I know I have one in mine. I hope you enjoyed reading Sloppy Joe, and we'll see you next time.